Today we're going to talk about an artist by the name of John Constable. John Constable was born in Suffolk, England in the year 1776. Uh, his birthday was June 11th, so a little less than a month before the Declaration of Independence was signed. John was born to a father who was a miller. That means that he ground grain into flour. And as a matter of fact, that is his mill house right there in this painting. So John obviously loved artwork and he would do art. And at the age of 24, he moved to London where he went to um, school. He went to the Royal Academy's school to study art. He had his first ex exhibition at the age of 26. Um, and he mostly did landscapes. So that's like outdoor paintings like this. His first um, exhibit didn't really go that well, kind of was largely unnoticed. He loved painting outdoors, which was kind of odd for the time most people painted in a studio, but he really loved being outside. So he would paint his landscapes in the outdoors. One interesting thing was that he really hated doing portraits, but he had to do portraits because that was what most people wanted. Most people didn't want to just buy a picture of the countryside. So he would do personal portraits of people so that he could make some money, but he, this was his big passion was to do the landscapes. When he was 48 years old in the year 1824, he sent one of his paintings to Paris. They had the, um, um, the Paris Salon and they looked at it and they really loved his painting and the French, they really appreciated his work much more than anybody in England ever had. And he actually even won a gold medal. Um, I don't know exactly what the award was for, but he, for that year, he won this really big award. And so he actually gained a little bit of popularity in France. And after that, about five years later, he was finally admitted to the Royal Academy um, for artists in England. And so that was a pretty big honor. And that was, you know, near the end of his life. But he never really did gain um, massive, um, you know, notoriety or fame in his life. He never really did. Interestingly enough, this painting right here, it's called The Haywain, and it's actually one of the most popular English paintings of all time. Um, I was reading and they said that it's actually very common um, for people to hang this in their home. It's like in like either like the top one or two paintings that is sold in um, and like the people display in their home in England. So um, we're gonna take a little bit of a look at it. He loved to paint landscapes. He lived in London for most of his life, but he lived on the outskirts. And so that was kind of, uh, he would kind of go to like the outskirts of town so that he could kind of get some good landscape options of what to paint. So we can see, you know, there's like a dog here and there is a, like a little kind of a creek here separating these two different properties, okay? So we have his father's mill right here, okay? And we've obviously got a cart and we've got a horse pulling it. It's just kind of showing like the daily life of the miller and what it would have looked like for his father as a miller. So this is very much probably a typical scene of what he would have grown up with. So, um, the other place, the, uh, the other property on the other side, this was owned by Willie Lott, and he was a farmer. And Willie Lott um, lived that in that home his whole life. The longest he ever left was four days. And his property actually looks identical um, to what it did back then. So it has lasted for a really long time. And you have to realize that um, this was painted in 1821. So that house is 200 years old and it's still standing in the exact same place. So um, John Constable didn't really get to live to be um, particularly old, but he did do a lot of really beautiful landscapes in his lifetime and has gone on to be one of the most um, prominent English painters, at least being um, displayed in people's homes in the last 200 years. I hope that you guys really enjoyed looking at this with me today. And I hope you have a great rest of your day. Bye.